to be here when she comes out. Jake, it's not your fault. No, I should have protected her. Rib Hill has got his big break in television on the General Hospital spinoff, Port Charles. He's been a working actor ever since. Last year, he played a bad boy in the hit Lifetime movie, The Wrong Man. She was going to break up our family. She was my wife. You two were my life! <laughs> Besides acting, Rib has been a familiar face in the modeling world for the past 26 years. It's like the classic Zoolander. Like, I lived the Zoolander life. My wife teases me about it because we'll take just random family photos and she goes, you got to make your model face. I'm like, I'm not making a model face. She's a dancer. So if we dance, she can't dance poorly. She's a world champion. When you put a camera on me, I've been doing it for so long that I just, I just do what I do every day. These days, Rib is devoting a lot of time to the Thirst Project. This youth-driven charity aims to change lives and save lives, all with clean water. It's still in its early years, but what a difference a decade makes. And they've raised over $8.8 .8 million that goes to drilling wells and bringing clean water to, I think at this point, it's over 330,000 people worldwide in 13 different countries. You have 4,100 kids die every day from waterborne diseases. If you bring clean drinking water to these communities, you can, 88% you'll drop the waterborne disease rate, 90% you'll drop the child mortality rate. And it's that easy. The Thirst Project is having a fundraiser Saturday evening in Beverly Hills that will be streamed live on the charity's Facebook page, or you can buy a ticket and be there in person. Either way, you'll learn how clean water is life-changing. And they're literally just letting it run through their hands and they're feeling it and tasting it the first time. It's, it's quite remarkable. I want to be able to give back and help other people. I've seen it firsthand how much it changes things. Rib says the Thirst Project hopes to raise more than $200,000 tomorrow night, all of it going to bring more clean water to places that desperately need it all around the world.